to tell who you are. Absolutely. First of all, I want to say happy birthday to Suzanne. Chef Jeff. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Why Tonight. are you underestimated? <laughs> You'll find, find out. out. <laughs> Tonight so promises already. to be an evening of extravagance. Cause tonight we're going to be we're going to introduce the next celebrity chef. They'll be mentored by me, Chef Jeff, and their whole journey will be shown on national television for all the world to see. I promise you fame, fortune, and most of all, food. Now. <laughs> I shall begin my critiques. Overall, I must say that... Buongiorno! Buongiorno, I know. Hello, lovely to see you. It's lovely to see you all. Uh, sorry, this is a private party. Chef Jeff, it's a you. It's a really you. <laughs> yes, it's me, Chef Jeff. But I'm afraid I don't really have time for no, autographs but, right now. No, if you Chef, go out in the hall, my assistant here can give you a signed <laughs> photograph of me. I'm. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, but that's the sort of thing that you're going to have to deal with when you become a celebrity chef. Oh, but I'm I am say. here. I am here for the celebrity chef competition. Do you not remember? It's me, Anna Siciliana. Ah, no, actually I don't. But you came to my restaurant. You invited me to the celebrity chef competition. Not ringing a bell, I'm afraid. Well, of course. Forgive me. You are the great chef, Jeff. I'm sure you meet hundreds of people every day. I'm only one of your thousands of followers. No, oh, you do look familiar. It is an honor to be in your presence. Just the thought of serving you, it makes me swoon. <laughs> Was it Anna, did you say? Oh, chef, Jeff. You are what we all aspire to. Every cook slaving away over a hot stove. We dream of the day where we may serve something worthy of you. You are our idol, our hero, our god of gourmet. <laughs> <laughs> Anna Cecilia, of course, now I remember. My dear, you made me blush. I was beginning to wonder if that was possible. Excuse me? Uh, I have brought you something indescribable. Yes, very nice. Nice packaging. Gorgeous, <laughs> exotic. Why, you could be my Padma. Yes, but I can actually cook. <laughs> you know, I brought you something most delicious. I hope you enjoy it. As a matter of fact, I was just about to begin my critiques. But before we begin, there's a few rules I want to get out of the way. A few business matters that everybody should remember once the cameras begin to roll. Uh, first of all, there will be no cell phones. I should hear. A single cell phone. I will assume you are no longer interested in being part of the competition, and you will be ejected! <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> the bathrooms are through the double doors. I, I hope that you use them in a timely manner. That is, when I am not speaking. If you use them when I am speaking, then you will be ejected! <laughs> and finally, this is most important. Don't get between me and the camera. If you do, you will be ejected. Now, let's see, who would like to begin? A uh, Chef Jeff, if you will. I have prepared for you to be uh, delightful. Did I call on you? Excuse me? Did I say Anna Siciliana? Did I call on your name? No, I don't think I did, did I? I'm sorry, are we in nursery school? <laughs> Perhaps that's where you left your manners, young lady. Oh, I see. It's like that. Yes, it is exactly like that. Are we not sure who is in charge? <laughs> of course. Of course you are. How silly of me. I apologize. As well you should. You'll have your chance if you're not ejected. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. Not another word. Lardo. <laughs> what was that? What did you just call me? Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Chef. Uh, it's Lardo. You, you've heard of Lardo. I, I just, I love food so much, things come popping out of my mouth. A cured pork fat. Of course, you've had Lardo. Oh. Oh, yes, of course. I know you were speaking of Lardo. Although, I must admit, for a moment there, I thought you were speaking of my friend Mario Batali. 
It's clear he hasn't seen Jenny yet. Now, let's see if we can begin the critiques. Um, anchovy. Anne, where are you, Anne? Anchovy. Okay. Oh, there you are. Yeah, what? Oh, good. I like her. Anne, why don't you tell me about your dish? It's my special appetizer, which I call Marina del Sol. And that means basically fish left in the sun? This is what it tasted like to me. Please tell me, what horrible nightmare inspired this dish? I believe it's an adaption of a recipe from your own fish cookbook. <laughs> then I suggest you go back to nursery school and learn how to read. This dish was so awful, it made me want to cut out my tongue and bury it. You are ejected! Oh, no. Thank you for your submission. <laughs> I think we're all going to need a lot of wine this evening. Our next contestant is Angus B. Angus, where are you? Right here, Angus. Oh, there, there you are, Angus. Why don't you tell me about your dish? I made a grilled steak with my secret marinade. <laughs> and exactly what was in this marinade? Arsenic? No, I used the balsamic vinegar from your Chef Jeff line of bottled sauces that I bought at the grocery store. Never, never blame your culinary shortcomings on the head chef. Well, this dish was awful. And maybe I wouldn't use it to poison my neighbor's dog. You are ejected. But thank you for your entry. <laughs> chef Jeff, excuse me. I know I am speaking without first being spoken to, uh, but is this necessary? Of course it's necessary. How else are they going to learn? I have to be firm. I have to use tough love. To me, it sounds more like a public humiliation. When you have your own show, you can tell me what it sounds like to you. Until then, silence. Now, let's move on. Kim Chi. Where are you, Kim? <laughs> <laughs> really, Kim? <laughs> Why I didn't recognize you immediately. <laughs> Kim, why don't you tell me about your dish? It is my take on a traditional dish. Mm. I combine spearmint stalks, hard boiled eggs, mm. rutabagas, yes. and butterscotch sauce. <laughs> ah, what a conflagration of flavors. Uh, sadly, there's not enough for everyone. dreadful <laughs> shame. And tell me, how did you cook this dish? I didn't cook it. I put it in a big clay pot mm. and buried it in the yard for a year. Oh. 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 Another food maven. I like this with another taste sensation. <laughs> it sounds like another case of salmonella waiting to happen. And you seem to think that, well, I care what you think. Why is that? Another outburst from you, and you will be ejected. Stinko. What? What was that? What did you just say? Nothing, Chef. You misunderstood. No, no, no. I'm not one for second chances. I simply don't have time for them. I don't think there's anything you can do to... I'm sorry, Chef. I had to. It was the only way to get you to try my food. I have never, in my life, anything so exquisite, ex extraordinary, completely delicious. Oh, thank you, Chef. <sighs> Don't, there's no room for modesty here. What do you call this dish? Oh, it's a simple appetizer. It's guanciale e fagiolini. Ah, pork cheeks and string beans. <laughs> this, my friends, is the mark of a true chef. Thank you, Chef. <clears throat> what I taste? A little cream? A, a little nutmeg? Well, perhaps. Ah, keeping the recipe to yourself. Very clever. Well, I worked very hard on that. You do realize, of course, that should you become the next celebrity chef, all of your recipes will be given to me. <laughs> Merely a formality, I assure you. I have taught some of the finest Italian chefs in the world. But, uh, as an Italian female chef yourself, you already have some formidable competition already on the air. <laughs> you can't mean Giada. I mean, that woman has all the passion of a Ritz cracker. <laughs> but she has an incredibly large mouth. Sometimes it seems as though she's going to open it up and swallow up the entire kitchen. That's a thousand watt smile on camera. As for you, you're on to the next round. The next round is to tell me what you have for an idea for the show. What is, what do you want to show to the world? What is your message? Well, I adore food. Everything in 
like this food, and I want to share that with the world. Food, it gives us nourishment and pleasure and consolation and exaltation. Everything is food. I want people to feel their food. I want them to get their hands in their face right in that food. <laughs> Good Lord, what would you call this show? Oh, well, I would call it Cecil con Siciliano. But that means sex with Siciliano. <laughs> well, yes, I don't like to mince words. On my show, people will be hot and dirty. Uh, let's and try and keep it to a G rating, shall we? <laughs> you have to admit, there's nothing like it on television. Not outside the Playboy channel, no. So, what do you think? I think it's terrible. What? I don't think people should need a, a shower and a cigarette after the show. <laughs> but shit, no, 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 no. You don't understand what the premise of the show is. Let's, let's look for some more uh, ideas from the audience. Um, honey, do. Honey, where are you? Ah, there you are, honey. <laughs> Why don't you give us your idea for a show? Pay attention. Well, I think we need to get back to the basics because people just are not learning how to cook. Ah. And I want to change all that and by start starting at the beginning. Ah, very interesting. What would you call your show? Mm, I think I'd call it How to Make a Grilled Cheese. <laughs> an entire show on how to make a grilled cheese. Not like an episode, an entire show. You bet. And you'd start with what? Showing people how to peel off the plastic wrappers from the cheese. <laughs> Maybe you could sell this idea to Sandra Lee, but use small words so she understands. Come on, people, we need to step it up here. I'm not looking so bad now, eh? <laughs> Shit, please, give me another chance. I have to cook. I need this job. I need to cook. I know, I know, I know. My temper gets the better of me, but I can change, I promise. Anna, Anna, your cooking is sublime. It's true. A combination of your food, my fame, could be ferocious. Yes, together we could create something wonderful. But it's your temper that gets in the way of this master plan. <laughs> Why, well, you've been fired from every restaurant that you've ever worked at. Your last manager still sees double from you beating him in the head with a stock pot. Uh, yes. I can't have that. I'm the personality of this show. All was not lost, though. I'd be happy to put some of your recipes in my cookbook. Under my name, of course. That's simply the best offer you're going to get. <laughs> Stupido. Oh. Stupido. <laughs> Hmm, that's actually an ingredient I'm not familiar with. What does stupido mean? Stupido? It means you are an idiot. <laughs> I can cook circles around you right. with both of my hands tied behind my back. Now listen, I don't... If you were in my kitchen, it wouldn't be a stop pot flying into your head. It would be my butcher's knife. I don't think And if you think for one moment that I would even give you my recipes, you are a bigger fool than they say. Listen, you... No, 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 no. Before you say your stupid catchphrase, Wait! Excuse me! <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry about that. You simply shouldn't let your ego get in the way of the show. <laughs> Besides, who's called me a fool? What are people saying behind my back? Are people talking? Yes. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> go, go ahead and finish your food. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry about that outburst of hers. It's clear that Anna was not right for the show. Why, it's me that you love. All of my cookware, of course, all of my cookware always sells out on QVC. My cookbooks are in millions of your homes. You need me. Without me, you're all nothing. So depressing. You are all ejected. I'm just losing my enthusiasm. 
listening to you all bitch, whine, and moan. How come we aren't excited about cooking anymore? Doesn't anyone love being in the kitchen? Doesn't anybody love food? Finally, a true believer. Oh my goodness. I really am a true believer in the power of food. Oh, Chef Jeff, is it really you? Of course it's him, you silly girl. Ah, well, I knew it was you. I've seen you enough times on television to know it's you. But to see you in person is like a pilgrimage to Lord's for me. Oh, my dear, you flatter me. Oh no, Chef Jeff, I'm neither very worried. Why, why, this is the pinnacle of my culinary career. I, I am actually afraid I might faint. I mean, even dining with the king of Creole wasn't this exciting. You, you eat with Emerald? Gosh, no, I meant Elvis. <laughs> ah, I was almost impressed. Oh no, it is I who am impressed. Like, this is the highlight of my entire life. Well, finally, someone who understands what it's like to be in the presence of greatness. Uh -huh. uh, but I'm afraid that you have me an advantage. You know who I am, but I have no idea who you are. Oh, my uh oh I'm getting a cupcake inspiration from the celebrity chef competition. Oh, this one is a red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting and a little blue fondant chef's hat on top. I'll call it the Celebrity Chef Cake. Sorry, uh, these inspirations come flying into my head at the oddest times. I'm guessing then you're a baker. Well, yes, I'm Katie, Katie, Cupcake Lady. <laughs> well, you, you wouldn't necessarily know me outside of my own little town, perhaps, but maybe. If I'm really lucky and, and the guards of gourmet should smile upon me, I can change all that tonight. Oh, Chef Jeff, please, 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 Mickey. <laughs> this is the kind of enthusiasm that can carry a show. Oh, do you mean it? Oh, Chef Jeff, I have to tell you that I am so ashamed that I was late tonight because I am never, ever late. In fact, I'm always early. I would have been tonight too, but on the way over here, I had to stop and help a little tiny baby bluebird who had fallen out of its nest. <laughs> Why, aren't you a person of sunshine? Well, I, I try to be, I really do. I think that each day could use just a little brightening. Katie, Katie, cupcake lady. You must be the one that made that cupcake that I sampled earlier. Guilty! That's me, I, that's what I do. I, I have a little bakery and I do it all right there. Pies, cakes, eclairs, cream puffs. But the cupcake has a special place in my heart. And a tasty little piece it was too. I'm not usually one for sweets, but that cupcake is just right. Oh, Chef Jeff. See what they think. How about how about another baker? Okay. Uh, lady finger. Where are you, lady? <laughs> oh, 
Tell me what you think about the show between Katie Kaye Cupcake Lady and myself. That's, that's your <laughs> word right there. I think this show. I think this show would be an instant hit. Oh! <laughs> for a long time. Oh. You're already a star, girl. <laughs> that is so kind of you. Oh. Oh. You said to me a cupcake inspiration. Oh. This one is an almond cake with a meringue topping yeah. and little pink sprinkles on top. Oh, I I'm going to call it the that's a very refreshing opinion, Lady Finger, but yes. what do we expect from another baker? Oh. Your kind always sticks together. Oh, um, now I don't know about that. Well, I do. Where you coming from? The other end of the spectrum. A real man's man. Someone who knows what it's like to be out in the weeds. How about Port Obello? Where are you, Port? Anywhere? Port Obello. There you are. Walked all the way over there. Are you sitting here with that? Port, what do you think about a show between us? Well, Chef Jeff, I have to tell you, I think it's a, it's a great mistake. Ah, oh. I knew there'd be a conflict. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that girl is so cute and bubbly, like, it would, she would just take all your attention away from you. <laughs> If I wanted cute and bubbly, I'd hire the naked chef, Janie Oliver. Uh -oh! ah! He's sending me an inspiration! Oh, this one is a hazelnut cake with a little swirl of caramel and chocolate mousse topping. I'm going to call it the Porto Bello cake. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Katie, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we have our answer. It's just not going to work out. You're cute and bubbly. I can't have that. I'm the one that people love. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just not going to work out. Did you think I was going to let Tinkerbell come in here and pixie all over me? But <laughs> Jeff, my puppy. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Your country is great. You can cook. All these <laughs> mental defectives can cook. I'm not looking for hair hair here. I'm looking for someone to make me look good. But I wanted this so very much. Of course you wanted this. This is yeah. a competition. Yeah. But part of being in a competition yeah. is losing graciously. <laughs> uh, what the hell do you know about losing, you washed up product pusher? <laughs> Cupcake Lady, yeah. it gives me great pleasure to say, you are E. I am E. Oh, 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 oh. I am E. I wonder what oh. you meant by that. Oh. C. C. Oh. C. C. Oh, oh, he wants to play charades. I love charades. Uh, cupcake? No, no, crumb cake? C. Oh, uh, yeah. blood sugar? Because if it is, I've got more cupcakes. A uh, chip chip, do you know you're not breathing? Uh, chip chip, oh! Chip chip is dead. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead? What do I do? Take care of him. I will. Take care of him. Take his body. I will. Keep getting hysterical. No, I'm not, you say him. Oh! This certainly is a very undignified place for chip chip.
Oh, sweet doll, what kind of cake are you gonna make for me? Oh, oh. what a house. <laughs> well, uh, off the top of my head, I'd say something with uh, dark chocolate and rum. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And for those of you that don't know me, and that's your oversight, I'm Butch Porterhouse. I cook and I eat. Mostly steak, rare. And then a single malt <laughs> scotch to go with it. And then after breakfast, I get serious. Uh, Food's all about overindulgence, otherwise what's the point? If it's stuffed with cheese, wrapped in bacon, and deep fried in lard, I'm gonna love it. <laughs> well, uh, uh, welcome, Mr. Porterhouse. Uh, not that I'm the host or anything, goodness knows. <laughs> I, I do think that someone should welcome you. I, I know you came here to see Chef Jeff, but, well, unfortunately, there's been a terrible misfortune, and how do I say this? Um, uh, Chef Jeff is dead. Yeah, I know. You do? Yeah. I saw the meat wagon coming in. Took a look. He's dead, all right. Well, I can't imagine what happened. I can. It was murder. Murder? Oh, yeah. but, but how can that be? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, there's a batch of bones downstairs. They split a brain and came up with poison. Poison? No! Yeah, I thought it was probably the cupcakes. What? No! <laughs> no! Stop the small talk there, cutie. Someone in this room murdered Chef Jeff, and I've been asked to make sure no one leaves until we get some answers. So. Well, you just go ahead and confess, and I'll get that steak. Uh, my goodness gracious, I didn't kill Chef Jeff. I love Chef Jeff. Nobody loved Chef Jeff, did they? No. no. <laughs> Everybody in this room, his fans adore him. They no. didn't know him. Well, you seem to think you do. And just what are you doing here anyways? You don't seem like someone who follows Chef Jeff. Chef Jeff and I go back a long, long ways. Oh, I like to show up and torture him from time to time. Oh, well, well then you killed him, you, you bad, bad man. Yeah. I wasn't here when he died. <laughs> oh, that's right. Well, uh, Mr. Porterhouse, or may I be so bold, Butch, you just don't seem like the celebrity chef type. <laughs> yeah. Picture me with a TV show. What are you going to call that? The the essence of the 30-minute top naked chef nightmares. Yeah. I don't think so, Mary oh. Poppins. <laughs> there ain't enough dough even in here to blackmail me into TV. Yeah. <laughs> but you. You. Me? Look at you. You're what? perfect. Oh, oh my God. You're hired. I believe in the beauty of table setting. Oh, me too. 
Placemats, flowers, and candles are all important to a meal. <laughs> so, did you get any feedback from Chef Jeff? He laughed in my face. And then he stole my grandmother's silver candlestick. Don't despair, Chip. I'm sure there'll be a cable channel devoted solely to your show idea any day now. Maybe they'll call it the I'm Just That Bored channel. <laughs> oh, wait, Martha Stewart's already got that one covered. <laughs> Consider himself somewhat of a mentor to you in your troubled little restaurant. Can you explain that to us, Seabass? There is nothing wrong with my food. I've just been having some serious problems with my vendors. Serious trouble with your vendors? I've been there. You order filet, you get hamburger. That can kill your night, huh? Dang. I order a lot of imported fish. But someone has been changing the orders after I phoned them in. I came tonight to get Chef Jeff's advice. Oh, get his advice. Yeah, he was quite the little fixer there, wasn't he? That is when he wasn't bad about the others and stealing recipes. You know, I just can't believe my hero was so mean. Oh, wake up there, Zippy. What, you think was some, some Zippy. hero in the kitchen right in to save the poor downtrodden lion cook? Hey, don't talk to me about downtrodden till you pay your debt at the diner. <laughs> 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 Who was that? You was a cupcake, you'd be a nutty one. Well, sometimes I, I wait for a minute, <laughs> but, but I always come back. Oh, that's reassuring. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's see we have a murder on our hands. Well, pretty handy with a room full of cooks, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But maybe. Maybe we're dealing with a crime of passion. Ah. Maybe we need to talk to some of the ladies in Chef Jeff's life, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Apple Brown Bay, are you here tonight? <laughs> 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 so, you were Chef Jeff's life for an entire year, no doubt, right? <laughs> uh, wow. Well. Care to share with us, Apple, or can I call you Betty? <laughs> Chef Jeff was the love of my life. <laughs> <laughs> really, what happened? Wow! Consult the notes. He was cheating on me. Oh. I suspected it for a long time, but one night I came home and heard him whispering words of love to his own image in the full-length mirror. There's an image that'll make it hard to eat for a while, huh? There's a category of flowers. What else have you got there? And you. Oh. Maybe we need to, uh, Talk with somebody uh, who knows you a little bit better, too. What do you think about you? Oh, but you're going to talk to one of my old friends? Yeah, Charlotte Roots. Charlotte! Yeah. Is Charlotte here? Oh, hi, Charlotte! <laughs> Charlotte She'd like us all to believe? Yeah. Well, she might be now, but she wasn't so nice back when she was slinging hash at her parents' diner. Oh. <laughs> Why, Charlotte? Shame on you! So much for keeping a secret. <laughs> her diner, huh? That doesn't sound like the most refined disposition for such a delicate lady, dope muncher like yourself. There's no way you work in diners. I have. I mean, you would last one day, that's almost laughable. <laughs> you. Yo, shoe ship! Send the bloodhounds through the hay with an MD. Sweep the kitchen. Wreck a couple of cackleberries with a moo juice. Paint a bug pup red. Drag them through the garden with a dog soup. Ice the rice, throw it in the mud, and send it all out on the rail. Oh. Woo! -hoo. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> 
situation, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there aren't enough antidepressants in the world to make me work for you again. Butch. After all, look at what happened to your brother when he crossed you. Your... 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 Your brother? He, he, was, he was your brother? So what? Chef Jeff was my brother. Big deal. <gasps> Seconds. But I can see it wouldn't take much to push you over the edge. It was a case of uncontrollable rage, wasn't it? Oh. You just couldn't stand that your brother got famous, so you poisoned him. I think the thought crossed my mind more than once. Yeah. Well, who are those guys outside? Testing everything. There is a batch of bones down there. Uh, police officers? Yes. Yeah, they put down their... Uh, us long enough to make sure Anna didn't get too far down the road. Take the day when we'll fly out of here, right? Oh, yeah. And there's specialists in the kitchen right now taking examples of all the food Chef Jeff tried tonight. Really? Yeah. But you seem awful intent on placing the blame on others. This wasn't it you're hiding anyway. Well, what do you mean? What, what could I possibly have to hide? I got my suspicions. But, but uh, yeah, why don't we talk with... Not for Charlotte already? Yes, we did. I'm not talking to her again. Oh, we've got people here who like seafood, don't we? 
gave up his back, right? Chef Jeff had, a, had a, some stuff on him, didn't he? Yes, he did. He had a receipt on him when I helped him uh, depart. <laughs> uh, here it is. Look, it's a receipt to a seafood restaurant. The top is torn off, but at the bottom it says, finest exotic seafood. That sounds really yummy. That could well be a clue. Chef Jeff never kept receipts mainly because he never paid for any of his meals, right? Right. Yeah. And if you look on his clipboard here, he wrote down something fishy is going on. Wow. <laughs> oh. If there's one thing my brother could resist was seafood. Oh, seafood. I wonder if it's possible to make a crab cupcake. <laughs> oh, no. 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 There are several people here tonight who are quite skilled in the preparation of seafood. What do you have to say about that, teriyaki? <laughs> well, <laughs> might I'll be the one to talk to you for just a little while. <laughs> Maybe something along the lines of a uh, poisonous prawn, perhaps? Well, ooh, that all depends. What do you call it? Poisonous. <laughs> depends on what? Me too. <laughs> I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> but I'd be happy to try it out. I'm gonna sample on you. Try to sample on that. Ooh, really feeling the love there. Oh. Thanks. Oh. I'll stick to the scampi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. One more out here who, uh, they seem to have trouble. How about a red snapper? Red snapper? <laughs> oh! <laughs> How desperate are you for a shot of celebrity chef Red? Well, I'll tell you, my show is about Jeff Chef and I. Chef Jeff. Jeff Chef. <laughs> <laughs> and he's starting our own seafood restaurant. <laughs> huh, that sounds familiar. How'd that work out for you? Well, he told me to go fry a fish there. <laughs> but he kept my proposal and opened his own chain. Uh, don't worry about it. I've eaten there. It's a crime an animal I've to die for what they pass off as food. <laughs> Wait, I got it! I got it! Yeah, focus not contagious. Uh, there's someone here who's been very quiet all evening. And I would guess that S. Cargo has a very fishy <laughs> secret. What, what do you have to say for yourself, S? Oh, oh. Nice, nice yeah. Yeah. Chef Jeff would never try any of my dishes. Oh. He said they were beneath him. Oh. 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 Chef Jeff had a palate of a pygmy goat. <laughs> he didn't know what he was missing. I can do wonders with snails. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was a stripper once and said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as much as it pains me to say this, I need your help. Yeah. Someone in this room murdered Chef Jeff. No. Oh. <laughs> and we need to find out who did it. Now, we've got clues here. Yeah. We've got a receipt. We've got a receipt. That said something fishy was going on here and a receipt from the seafood restaurant. And his last word, see, could also point us to the ocean. This is fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pass out some uh, solution slips for you. Yeah. It's time to get this murder off the menu, huh? And find out who amongst you will be the next celebrity chef and who murdered the chef. Oh, pick me! Pick me! <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to take a break. Go. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, <laughs>
Business bottomed out, and I was looking at bankruptcy. So I poisoned him with a pufferfish. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. But hey, it was a mercy killer. Oh, yeah. Has anybody tasted this food lately? <laughs> with you a little bit. The only thing you're going to be cooking from now on is prison gruel. <laughs> Cut for your waist, Chef Jeff. Sea bass. Well, I guess we should find out who our very smart celebrity Chef Sleuth is. Uh, before we do that, I want to read some of the cute ones. All right. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> There's nobody safe in here tonight. No. Where's teriyaki? Yeah, there exactly. You, you said I did it. Uh, look, have a look at yourself. Here, you want to call you Out of brotherly love? Hi. <laughs> okay, is this Edie or Eddie? Edie. 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 Where is she? Hi. Hi, Edie. You said it was Anna Siciliana. Yeah? That she already massacred the pronunciation of her name. Yes, she did. <laughs> It's not what I'm looking for in a woman, but okay. <laughs> Names are not always important. Audra! Audra! Audra, all the way back there hiding in the back table. She, yes. she thought it was Red Snapper. Because oh, he's yeah. pissed. Who's <laughs> 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 Jeff? Uh, yeah. Apple Brown Betty, why? Bad food. Oh! <laughs> Betty was in on the whole murder scheme. Oh. Oh. Yes, yes. And there's Mitch. Oh. Oh. Anchovy? What? Why? Sexual tension? <laughs> I used to love ya! Alright, let's find out who the murderer was. There were several of you who got it right. 
So we're going to draw really? for a prize. Well, oh. Oh. All, you, all the people in here got it right, but the winner is... I wish I could read it. It's myself. Not me. <laughs> Joel. Find out who the next celebrity chef will be. Oh yeah! <laughs> it is not you. Oh. Apple Brown Betty. special day, birthday and all, and uh, we had a lot of fun. We can't do it without all of you. You guys are what makes it special for us, because every show is different because of that. Thank you. Give yourselves a huge round of applause. Thank you to the room and staff up here. Thank you. Ow, ow. 